You want to take apart your Game Boy? Here's how. You'll need a tri-wing, a Phillips, and a small screwdriver. First, remove your batteries and remove the six tri-wing screws on the back of the Game Boy. If you do not have a tri-wing screwdriver, a small flat head will work just as well. Trust me, it does. Also, make sure to keep your screws separate. The back panel for the batteries is a great way to keep them separate because it has three little sections. Now carefully pull your Game Boy apart because there is a ribbon cable. Very important. To remove the ribbon cable, you easily and gently slide it out. Here's the back of the screen. There are 10 screws marked by these circles. Remove them and use your Phillips to do so. Again, segregating the screws so you don't accidentally put the wrong screw in the wrong panel. Now gently lift the board off the case. As you can see, you can easily peel off these plastic bits and remove the buttons to replace them or clean them. If you're wanting to add a backlight to your screen, here's how. You have to remove these two tiny screws. This is where your little jeweler's flathead or Phillips comes in. Carefully remove the screws. And very carefully, slowly peel back the screen and it'll pop off. Be very, very, very careful not to damage this or this. This corner right here is where you will peel the back of your screen off and then add your backlight. I don't have one to show you. I'm sure there's another tutorial out there for you. And now carefully replace those tiny screws. Make sure to use a microfiber cloth when cleaning the screen. Here's the LED and this is where the solder points are in case you want to change it. Here's the other half of the Game Boy. And these are the four screws you need to remove to remove this panel. Remember to keep segregating your screws. And make sure you don't have a game in. Here's the button. Now we'll gently pull up and remove the power button so it doesn't get in the way or pop off and get lost. And now the whole board should easily come off. And here's the other side. It's a good time to clean those contacts. And this is how you remove the back metal panel in case you would want to. To remove the other battery contacts, you get your little jeweler's flat head again and you push down on this tab. And then you should be able to slide it right out. Now to put it back together. Make sure you clean the inside and outside of the screen really good with your microfiber cloth so that you can see if there are any dust or thumbprints on it. And let's wipe down the screen itself again just to make sure there's no dust or debris that came onto it while it was sitting there. Now carefully place the speaker inside first and then gently press your board down over the holes. Replace all those screws. Make sure you get all 10 of them. For the back, make sure you get those battery contacts into their slots and it should easily slide down into its space. Peel back the board slightly to replace the power button. And make sure it works. Make sure all your battery contacts are visible and in the right place. The board screws go back into these two black holes. Screw them back in. And don't forget to screw back in the headphone jack. To reconnect the ribbon cable, just gently wiggle it in. Now carefully press your Game Boy back together. And make sure everything works. All the contacts are shown and all the buttons press in like they should. Now replace those six screws in the back with your tri-wing. Replace the batteries and switch on. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped you.